So about two years ago, I made a video doing a review reaction to Bo Burnham's special Inside, which I thought was phenomenal. I've been a big fan of Bo Burnham uh, since he first started putting out content on the internet. The thing with Bo is that he usually puts out something and then lets the universe enjoy it and then kind of disappears until he has something else to say. After a couple years, he has released the outtakes for Inside. Allegedly, these are the outtakes. Because if you ask me, this could have just been like part two to the first Inside. This isn't a review. This is not a review. This is more just a Bo Burnham fan reacting to new Bo Burnham content. There are moments of this video which is constructed like a like a real youtube video like there's ads fake <laughs> ads that he puts in during the video there's like pop-ups and stuff that are all just hilarious um there are some songs in here that either he went back and finished them or they were fully done and he just decided to not include them in the special because maybe it was gonna get too long i don't know i would have watched like a three hour special or however long he wanted it to be but he took them out. Uh, some of these songs are really good. In the case of Hands Up, the version that's in this video, I like that version better. The song is phenomenal either way, but the version he does in this video is just, I don't know, there's like something about it. I, I like it a lot. There's also a fantastic podcast segment in this, which like, this is why this is such an interesting video, that some of it is just random behind the scenes stuff of him like setting up shots and kind of testing out ideas that maybe they work, maybe they don't, maybe he changes his mind. And then other parts are like fully complete versions of songs and bits and jokes that he just didn't use. It's wild. I'm super thankful that Bo has released this because I'm someone who loves behind the scenes stuff like just in general like any sort of like commentaries like audio commentaries behind the scenes deleted scenes extras all that stuff like i'm the guy that buys the dvd that like listens to all that extra stuff so this is really cool from that perspective it was also great because for a while i've kind of been wondering if Bo was going to revisit inside just because you know it sort of seemed like it had become his his magnum opus like the greatest thing he had created uh, and he's created a lot of great things like that's a tough list to get onto because everything he does seems to be so incredibly high quality and well thought out inside came out at a time when you know so many of us were in such a weird position and we didn't really know what was going on and uh, it was such an enjoyable thing to watch even though it seemed like the character slash real person of Bo Burnham was just slowly going through a psychological turmoil during that entire thing, but it was incredibly well done. It's really cool to see him revisit it. It's cool that he also hasn't stopped thinking about it or has wanted to go back to it in some capacity or had some stuff that he wanted to say that he had taken out and decided he wanted to go back and, and uh, put it out there, which is really cool because typically Bo, takes really long breaks so this almost feels like pretty pretty frequent like we got two years in between that's that's pretty good that's like pretty consistent and it was super exciting to see this get randomly uploaded to youtube it's only on youtube it's not on netflix none of that kind of stuff this feels like almost like a first draft of what the eventual inside would become or like a yeah like a prequel i don't know it it, it exists in a really interesting place because some of it's done and some of it's not, but he edited the whole thing together. So in a way, this is another piece of Bo Burnham's immense creativity and talent. It's fantastic. There's so many great moments and songs and bits in this that were not in the original. And then there's versions of songs from the original that you get to see how he kind of got there or what he might've taken out or tweaked during his creative process, which for someone like Bo Burnham, I think <laughs> I am certainly fascinated by what his creative process is. For any Bo Burnham fans that have not yet seen this, highly recommend that you give it a watch. It is an absolute blast. It is fascinating. 
to see how his ideas changed and evolved over time when he was making the original Inside. And here's hoping we get more Bo Burnham content before the next two years.